Hello, Year 3. I'm in the art room and I have a lesson for us for our lockdown. Normally, we'd be doing our paper mache trophy heads. Um, this week, I would have only been seeing the 3F students because they were going on with the next layer. We'll put our paper mache lesson to the side and pick that up when we're back together. I thought instead, let's take some drawing um, with the dice because I do like this one. And I've found something to do with Lego and landscapes. So I might do a quick one with you now. Um, you don't have to watch this video if you'd prefer just to get onto it. You've got the instruction sheet there for you to, um, to follow. You don't even have to get mum and dad to print it off. You can just look at it um, on the screen while you roll and draw. You will need a piece of paper, something to draw with and a dice. If you haven't got a dice, mum or dad's smartphone will have an app where you can roll the dice. You could make one um, out of paper, or you could just randomly get mum or dad or nan or um, someone at home to throw numbers at you between um, one and six and go from there. So let's get ready to draw. Now I'm sharing a space here with my daughter Alana, so I'm sorry that we've made a bit of a mess up here. So I'm gonna go first with the Lego, all right? So I'm gonna start first of all with um, a Lego face. Now there's no, right or wrong here, but Lego face, not necessarily anything more than that. I'm gonna go with the eyes, four. So, ooh, I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm going to draw the one, two, three, four, the cool sunnies. All right, feel free to uh, fast forward if this is a bit slow. Or, as I said before, there's no problem at all if you want to not watch this and go on. So. Eyebrows, second roll. Ooh, six. Ooh, so on mine, I'm going with surprise eyebrows, if you don't mind. Eyes are kind of already covered, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to show those eyes, but I'm definitely on eyebrow. All right, he's looking angry, I'm not sure. We'll have to see with the third roll. The mouth, ooh, there's a few different designs there. Oh, I was hoping that I'd get that really cool moustache, but I got a three. So my mouth is really strange. I'm not sure if you can see that, Alana. Are they able to see that? Um, yeah. Is that coming through? Yeah. All right, so, all right, I'm copying what it says. We don't worry about um, noses too much in the Lego world, do we? And of course, if you were up on Lego Masters, this is nothing as fancy as those builds, but still, I'm guessing that's a goatee. A goatee? So, one pretty cool cat. But the body is what I need now. So I'm going, ooh, I know what I want. This is actually a dice that I found in the art room, so it's not gonna help if it's an eight. A one, okay. So um, it looks like I have a Superman body perhaps. So my body is, maybe I'm S for super art teacher, S for super science teacher, or S for silly Shona. Either way, that's taking shape. now. We still need feet and arms if you like. So I know that they've got those cute little um, Lego hands. Yeah. All right. Now, if you cute don't want things. to do Lego, maybe Lego is not your thing and I understand that. But uh, if you wanted to go further with this, um, you could make it into um, a series of characters. You could roll a few times and have yourself a little Lego brigade, add some more details. If you're thinking, mm, I'm thinking more nature, you get to choose to do that landscape or Lego. You could even do both. I'm gonna do a quick landscape. The first roll is whether it's uh, night or day, and it's night. Now I have white paper. Um, if you had a black piece of paper, you might go um, to that, or you could certainly take the time to color it, but I have to draw a night sky, so at the very least, I'm going to put some stars in the sky. The second roll is number six. And I have a lovely straight um, slope there. Well, no slope really, is it? It's what straight is, Miss Eddie. The third roll says the foreground. Foreground means in front of. Number one, so I've got some lovely grass. So you know how it goes. You're following the, uh, the prompts on the dice. If it was night, we're not going to see much though, are we? Fourth turn is the trees. Oh, I've got some cactus. So I've certainly got some very strange... Um, environments here mixed together because suddenly I've got um, 
grass in the desert. Maybe it's somebody planting cacti in their yard. Number five is flowers, so it must be desert flowers. And I've got no sevens available. I'll take a four. Oh, I've got some beautiful um, dandelion flowers. So you could even design your own role game if you wanted to. You could say, well, actually, I'd like to do a third one and give people in my class a chance to, to make their own um, spaceship or your own dinosaur. You could make up your own grid. The last one was extras. And I've definitely got a very strange picture on my hands because number six happens to be sky rise buildings. So I've suddenly got um, a night sky with cacti, flowers, um, city buildings and some grass. So it's going to be someone's garden for sure. Now decorating, you can use whatever you have available at home. Um, have fun with it. Send them in to me if you'd like to direct message them to Miss OD or save them for me next week. But uh, it's drawing with a little bit of chance thrown in. So happy creating year, year three. And please feel free to message me if you have any questions during lockdown. Bye, year three.